Hello, Rams fans. Out here on a beautiful afternoon. Uh, looking forward to this weekend. Uh, last weekend we played Lubbock Christian. Good squad. But we lost a couple ball games that uh, we easily could have won. What uh, What do you think last weekend that we did that maybe we need to change this weekend to come out on top of those close ball games, Brett? Uh, we just got to limit the mental mistakes is our main main problem that we have to fix. And um, I know we can do it this weekend. Okay. Somebody that kind of stepped up and really did a good job this weekend is Graylin Brown. Graylin, uh, you weren't up to your expectations when you started. You came out of the bullpen and, and you were really, really dominant and against probably one of the better hitting teams in the country. What do you think is the difference between coming out of the pen and starting? I mean, there is a difference. You don't know when you're coming out of the pen. You just kind of get go go get hot, get ready. Start and you got to think about it, which... I think kind of mess with my head sometimes, but you know you kind of got to be potty trained. You can't just let that get to you, and you gotta you gotta go with the flow and just pitch, help your team out. That's kind of weird, potty training and go with the flow. Don't tell my daughter that. <laughs> I won't. Okay. So Brett, one thing that uh, we had this this year happen was our Chihuahua came to the game, the rally dog. Everybody rubbed the belly, and we scored ten runs and lost. What do you think we need to do to the dog? Do we need do we need to not let the dog ever come to the ballpark again? Or do we as a team need to do something to change it? No, I don't think so. I mean, she helped us out a lot last year, so I think she she's probably had an off day. Uh just feed her a little better, I think. And uh I think she can come to the home series this weekend and we'll prove her right. You don't think she's been fed enough? No, she's been fed fine. I think just uh just uh, we need to get a little bit more better belly rubs in, is what I think. We you said more. You said more better. I'm gonna have to better cut. belly rubs. I'm sorry. Better Please go back. Rubs. Start the sentence over. We need what? <laughs> we need to get better belly rubs in. Okay. Because most of the guys didn't understand. You need to rub no, exactly. the belly and you know make the dog feel comfortable. Exactly. They're, just They're just rubbing the ears. Yeah, that's garbage. You gotta teach them right. Right, Graylin. Now during the game. A lot of things happen. There's there's people running here and there and everywhere. What was the uh, what was the feeling in the dugout when people were getting changed positions? And we had a catcher at second and a pitcher going to maybe going to shortstop. Was that is that exciting to you as a pitcher who might get to go in a ball game, or is that something where you guys are like, oh crud? Well, I mean, it's mixed emotions. <laughs> I mean, you got Goggin at second. Uh, who knows what's going to go down. Uh, <laughs> But I mean, you, we always, Coach Brooks always talked about you got to hold the rope. So, I mean, I trust my teammates. You know, we trust them. So, I feel like they can get the job done. Now, when Goggin was at second, were you thinking I got to punch this guy out, or, or were you going to try to put the ball in play and make, make Goggs make a play? I was thinking I got to punch the guy out. I was bringing my best pitch. <laughs> <laughs> Good call, Graylin. We'll make sure that David watches this too. <laughs> and now, Feckley was going to go to shortstop in the extra innings because we were kind of at a loss. We we basically emptied the tank, and uh, we had pitchers, uh, you know, a guy that was supposed to pitch playing first and, and whatnot. Would you have been scared with Feckley at short? I don't think so. I mean, Feckley's a pretty good athlete, so I would have I would have felt comfortable with him out there. Okay. Okay. Hey, what about you? Well, he dominates on the mound. I'm sure he's going to dominate at short. Believe it, baby. Okay, we're going to keep it short, boys. We got a, a series this week, and I want your predictions. Now remember, School of Mines is going to be watching this. No poster board material. Honest predictions. What do you think we're going to do, and who's going to be your pick to click for the weekend on the teammate? You can't pick yourself, okay? Well, I think since this last weekend, it was a little sour in our mouths. So uh, we're going to come back out, and we're going to... Time out. Sour taste in our mouth. Sour, sour. sour taste in our mouth. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> and we're gonna... uh, Sandy and Jay, I hope you're watching. This is what Angelo State has done to the boy right here. Sour taste in our mouth, I'm sorry. And uh, we're going to come out, play our game, and uh, they better be ready. And I think our pick to click this week is going to be Blake Bass. All right. I like it. On the mound or in the field? A little bit of both. Love it. Both. Love it. All right, Graylin Brown, who's your pick to click this weekend? I'm going to go with Christian Summers. Mm, interesting He's starting move. to see the ball well, you know. His arms are feeling right. Keeping his top hand there. Uh, all right, all right. Shoulders not flying open. I think he's going to have a good weekend. Who's your pick to click on the bump? I'm going with Feckley. Feckley? Okay, I'll go Oscar. Dude, that's... I'm going with Trey Davis. Timeout. That is the worst pick to click 
Dude, that's like saying Miguel Cabrera is going to be a really good hitter. What about Matt Shannon? Okay, Matt Shannon's your pick to click for the weekend. Oh, I said Trey Davis. Trey Davis is your pick to click for the weekend. Yes. What do you think Trey's going to come on and do? Pitching or hitting? Both? Pitching. 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 He's going to light it up? Throwing Chad. Love it. Good oh, prediction. Chad. I like that one, too. I think Bass and Trey are both going to come out and light it on fire this weekend. Okay, Graylin gets four words first. Since I know you're not a good starter, I'm going to stick you with it. Okay. And you got to bring your A game, okay? Okay. Tractor. Chris. Crisp or Chris? Let's go with crisp. That's a better word. Was, okay. It was Chris. Now it's crisp. Tractor. Crisp. Tunnel. Elway. That was a great pick to click. John Elway threw a great ball while riding his tractor. Used WD-40 to keep it crisp and has tunnel vision. Graylin, as far as a start, I'm going to give you a, like a C plus, B minus. It was good, but you used two sentences. And you were struggling a little bit. I had a comma in there. A comma? Yeah. Punctuation check. Word check? Nope. Punctuation check to uh, the AV guys. They say no. A lot smarter Debatable. than us right here. I took English my first two years here. We'll check on that. You're going to start with a C plus. You might move up. <laughs> Brett David, now you got to close it out for Graylin. You just walk two batters. You know that never happens, but we got to shut it down for him. All right. All right, here we go. Supple. <laughs> Can I get Carrier. a definition on that? Are you stupid? Yeah, stupid is, stupid does. Uh, we're going to go karaoke, yogurt, and clam. So supple, karaoke, yogurt, and clam. Hit it. The clam flavored yogurt tasted bad as I was singing karaoke with my supple voice. I'll actually give it to you because I was trying to stick you with some tough words. And obviously you're a little better than Graylin today. We're going to give you a B minus. <laughs> <laughs> Ram fan, get out of here 3 o'clock on Friday. Uh, we're playing Colorado School of the Mines.